Defense Rack 50, and what I'm doing this time is what I was supposed to do last episode, but you know, kind of stuff went down. So this time, take two, back to YouTube, guys. <laughs> Good to be back, I suppose. I enjoy making these videos, I do. It's just, I really have not had any time at all to make this, and that's why I've been gone for the past two weeks. So, I mean... I have gained a substantial amount of subscribers in that time. I hope, you know, you people are actually still watching. And wow, okay. Well, I mean, I guess it's not too horrible. I've seen worse, you know, by far. But anyways, what the heck am I going to be doing today? You know, I gotta, you know, think some uh, things out. Oh, don't I? So what am I doing today? It's going to be part training for a tournament and part just catching up with you guys. So yes, there is a second tournament going on right now. Uh, created by Super John Bombo, which is just the Super John Bombo Tournament 2, which I am taking part of. The first one hasn't even ended yet, though, which is the funny thing, in my opinion. Because, um, you know, isn't the first supposed to end, you know, before we play a second? But that's kind of my fault, you know, since I still have to play I Second Battles for that, you know, for the final or whatever. Still haven't even done that. So, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get to that someday, whatever. Just don't judge me, okay? I may be lazy, but at least I'm not... Whatever. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, there's this. So, special rules for this tournament. And really, the one I'm going to be mainly focusing on today is no fourth tier tax shooters. That means no Ring of Fire, no Blade Maelstrom, and that essentially means no tax shooters. Because generally, you're not going to use tax shooters too much without using fourth tiers. You know, even my old tax shooter cannon strategy, where I just got like a 3 0 cannon and 3 0 tax shooter early on, you know, I kind of use Maelstrom for that. And so I'm going to have to develop strategies without that crap so I can, you know, do well in this tournament. And that's what this video is going to be about. Practicing. Because, you know, practice makes perfect. You, uh, you know, got to be able to do that if you want to do well in the tournament. So, yeah, that's what I'll be going for. <laughs> and also, I guess, why haven't I been making videos in the past half month, I suppose? So, that, I mean, that's what I'll be going on. Just everything that's happened in my life up until, well, today. Because, you know, why not? I enjoy doing the story times. So, let's start off with, you know, not too long since the, after the uh, video before, the Polar Vortex came back. I don't know if you guys knew about my, uh, you know, my two days in a row off of school a while ago because the weather was negative 17 Fahrenheit. And I'm not going to convert that to metric system because the metric system's for the mathematically weak. <laughs> Anyways, sorry about that. That, that I didn't mean to say that. That was a complete accident. But um, yeah, just I'm doing it because Imperial is master race. But anyways, um, we uh, we got a couple more cold days. Like it hit sub zero temperatures, like sub negative ten temperatures around here again. Like um, a, last week or not the week before last week was um was uh, pretty bad. It wasn't exactly so much the cold, but as the insane wind. Like, it was, you know, sub-zero temperatures, but with, like, 35-mile-an-hour, 45-mile-an-hour winds, and if you don't know what that is in metric, seriously, just use the Google. It is your best friend ever. Ever, ever, ever. But, uh, yeah, it, it was bad. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like, all their schools in our region, they closed school on Monday because, you know, the weather was obviously bad. I mean, you know, that's something you generally want to do. Close school on a day that weather is bad so your students don't die while getting to school. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's common courtesy. You don't want to kill off your students. Otherwise, who's going to pay for tuition next year? So, anyways, all our schools in the region have uh, canceled school, you know, because of this reason. Ours, they're like, lol, nope, you're going to school on Monday. We're like, screw you, school. You're just a big asshole. And here's why. Here's the only reason they decided to keep school on Monday. This semi-famous author, Francisco Stork, I don't know if any, you know who he is. He wrote uh, uh, Last Summer of the Death Warriors and, like, Maricello in the Real World or something like that. I've read those decent books. Not too much going on, though, that's the thing. It's just kind of a modern author. He is coming to our school and, like, giving some sort of presentation. So people are like, oh, man, we, uh, uh, we, we, we can't pass up on this opportunity. You know, we, uh, you know, that's a lot of money we're wasting if, you know, we have to cancel like this. So we're having school open on Monday. And, like, why? If it wasn't for that, you would have canceled school. Because, you know, almost everywhere else did. 
Um, even my brother's school got canceled. And uh, so get this. They did say on the website that uh, if you decided not to come to school today, you would be uh, given, you know, an excused absence. So it's excused absence means to me you can skip school. And luckily my parents were on board with that because they didn't want to drive me to school. They felt it was too cold. And also I, I, <laughs> I still had homework to do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, aren't I just a great student? And uh, really homework has practically been the reason in the first place that well, I've been having, you know, problems doing YouTube. It's just been four to five hours of homework of nights, some studying and stuff, just insane amount of things I've actually had to do for homework. I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I just can't record right now. I have zero time. What are you doing? You're trying to do camel leads? Are you crazy? I have a freaking two or three mortar right here that decamelizes them. I should probably do something about, you know, his lack of D. So let's penetrate his lack of D. Yeah, Camo Regro Zebra is also like spaced thing. Oh my gosh, if he if he destroys this. Now, uh, uh, what the hell? <laughs> whoa, wait, 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 wait. That, that might kill him there, but otherwise he did a scary good job at defending that. You know, maybe it was because my rush is weak. Should we, uh, shall we, uh, try again? I think we shall. Alright, let's get rid of it. You, 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 and let's do it. Let's just do eight, all right? Let's just do eight. This seems like the better way to go. Let go! <laughs> There's no way you're going to be able to fend this off, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm just no way. Absolutely no way. Maybe at first you'll be able to defend it. But afterwards, lol, nope. I was actually losing lives at the end to this because I sold, like, everything. But anyways, ignoring the game, we're going back to story time. So, again, I've just been really busy with school. I've been having lots of projects, tests... You name it, you know, homework and stuff. Not to mention, you know, robotics. I am on a uh, first robotics team at my school, which is damn fun, by the way, but also time consuming. You know, that's three, well, that essentially means I stay at school for three hours to do homework, then I go to robotics. Literally no time at home to record those days. So some days I just literally can't do anything. And why are we getting cards? I want to test strategies on maps other than the cards. I'm actually not doing my real strategy just so I don't spoil anything for a certain person but uh yeah so let's see homework has just been pretty busy last week friday all right last last week friday is probably one of the most difficult days of my life so on that uh friday or for that friday i suppose i had three tests not only that but a 10 minute skit we had to memorize in Spanish, and oh my god, this guy's computer sucks, in Spanish, and we would present it to the class, like a skit, we would perform this skit to the class, 10 minutes long, memorized, like, crap, and guess what, I've done absolutely nothing, you know, before the night before, so that's how excellent my study skills are, um, so, I'm like, on Thursday, I'm like, crap, this is not good. So I'm like, okay, I'll just try to work on the skit first because that's like the only thing I can't BS. It's a partner skit too. I had one partner we'd be working on it. We would just, you know, message each other through email. We would each do like half the skit independently, then collab later on. But yeah, th th this just isn't sounding too good, is it now? So I'm so sorry about this level, guys. I literally can't do anything. Your computer is slow. I'm sorry for calling you up. Okay, anyways, though, so I'm like, okay, I kind of need to write this Spanish skit. I'm trying to think of ideas, but at the same time, it's like, oh, the internet is so fascinating right now. Why don't I pay attention to that? And, and then all of a sudden, it's 7 p.m., and I've literally done nothing for this 10-minute skit. I'm like, oh, no, that that's that's not good. That is never good. I've already procrastinated enough. Can't continue further, so I actually got to try to get down to business now. Let's get down to business. To defeat the Spanish skit. I, I'm sorry, that was absolutely necessary. But anyways, we, uh, or I, I suppose, I'm like, okay, I got to work on this. So come the end of the night, I guess I stay up until about 11 writing a skit. I wasn't even finished. I didn't touch the material for a single test at all. So I didn't study at all for any of this. 
which is not good. It is no bueno, I suppose. So I'm like, crap, I gotta wake up at 4 in the morning then. I only, well, no, I woke up at like 3.30 or something like that. I only got like uh, four, four and a half hours of sleep total. I mean, I guess, you know, it's less sleep if you count the time I lay, laid in bed trying to fall asleep. Like, please, just take me now. I've been waiting all this time. Just take me. And, uh, yeah, I spend lots of time with that. Also, I love how that boomerang jura, boomerang flies in a slow motion. It's, like, wobbling, kind of. It's the weirdest thing ever. And the last guy, you know, his computer was fine. But this guy is like, oh, you hurt my testicles. That's just not good. Um, so, anyways, yeah. Get up in the morning. Kind of finish the skit. But uh, here's the thing. I'm like, you know, this actually isn't half bad as skit. The only problem, I have three tests I didn't study for. So I try to, you know, cram in the morning, do the best I can, and, you know, when I get to school, utilize the time I had. Like, you know, during classes and stuff, I could write, or I could, you know, skim the textbook or whatever. And that is the weirdest place ever for banana farm. I'm sorry. I just pointed at the screen at the banana farm. This is the weirdest place ever for a banana farm, right in the middle. I mean, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. I just rather have towers there. And now, just because of that, I'm feeding you pink balloons. Enjoy. Lots of them, too. So, anyways, yeah, as you can tell, that wasn't exactly going to be a good day. I met with my partner during our homeroom, like, you know, we'll practice this for a bit. I'm like, oh crap, this is going to be even harder to memorize. However,. It wasn't too hard to memorize. I specifically wrote the skit, so it wasn't too much or that complicated of things. However, you know, it involved material because our skit, you know, had to, you know, consist of some of the Spanish that we were learning. But also, I made it easy so we could improvise if we forgot. That is, you know, the key because, I mean, we don't give a teacher a copy of our script. You know, we just, you know, just perform it for her and she listens. And, you know, so is the rest of the class. Of course, we do this in front of the class. So we don't exactly want to look like idiots, though. So, I mean, we're like, okay, we'll improvise if something goes wrong. We're not half bad at that. We can manage that. We are men. So, we do decide to do that. Also, I'm slowly making this guy leak with pinks. Uh. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, for the rest of the test, surprisingly didn't do bad. For what I knew what was gonna come. So first thing, I think the first one I had was actually a jazz lab test, which is less of a test than more of a, just a skill assessment. You know, we had to do some scales, rootless voicings, um, and uh, like chord patterns and stuff. It wasn't too bad, except you know my fingers were slow that day because I didn't actually practice. So I got uh, got A plus in one part and then a B on another. But I don't know why I'm listing all my grades. It's just kind of weird to be completely honest. But um, yeah, so that's that. I'm also just going to harass this guy as much as possible. The sooner he dies, the better. As morbid as that sounds. But, um, where was I going with this? Okay, yeah, the next thing we had was a chemistry test, which was actually two parts. We had the, uh, we actually had the second part earlier today, or Monday, I guess. I'm probably not uploading this on Monday, just because, you know, my Wi-Fi is slow to upload, and I don't have time to do that all in one day. But, uh, yeah, so chem test wasn't too bad either. I actually know, knew most of it, you know, it was a lot of it was just formulas and math, because, you know, I, I like math, I'm decent at that, so I could, you know, BS that pretty easily. Then, you know, came the moment I was most afraid for. English class. I did not know I would have something for English class. That was not one of the three planned tests. But while I was supposed to, or in addition to supposed to be studying for the tests, I also had to read a chapter for a, a book on in English. And guess who didn't read that? And guess who got uh, in a zero on the pop quiz? Crap. Okay, so that actually made my day bad. But after that was the test I was actually afraid of. That was a church history. So we actually had to study our own church. And I'm like, okay, I actually know a lot of this because it's just been repeated through all of grade school. Pretty relatively simple stuff. And I thought I didn't do too bad on it. I mean, I BS some stuff. Other things, you know, I just, whatever. If, if you get a fill in the blank and you don't know the answer, like at all, just guess the Alamo, okay? It's always the Alamo, trust me. I, I've had many years of doing this. I, I know what is the correct and what is the incorrect. It's always the Alamo. Anyway, since he has a 2-3 Boom Ranger, I'm not going to even bother with uh, Blacks. Or actually, I could. I might try, like, a few just to see if I can trip him up or something. 
Uh, I'll do that then save up for the mortar. So yeah, there was that. I didn't do too bad. But, uh, so right after that, by the way, all these testing wizards were right in a row, one after another, period after period and stuff, so I'm like, this isn't good, but, you know, I mean, I thought up on, aside from the English, I had been, I had not been doing too bad on that day. Then came, dun dun dun, Spanish class, you know, that one that I've been up late, you know, trying to write a script for, yeah, that one. Also, he has his boomerang on first, so I'm gonna capitalize on that. Or not. You know, maybe his wizard's enough to clean up. Damn it. <laughs> Whatever. So, we, my partner and I, neither of us were prepared. Everything was done the night before. You know, and the memorizing was pretty much done the day of. Our script was maybe four pages long, and half of it was doing actions and stuff. So, I mean, the general idea of our... <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold the phone. That... <laughs> Did anybody see that village? Oh my gosh. <sighs> Some people, I swear. They just have no sense of decency or whatever. I don't even know what that was. First you lag like crazy, but then you just absolutely sack the deck at placing towers. Like, that wasn't even close to where you wanted it, was it? But, uh, okay, anyways, back to story time, whatever. So, the general premise of our skit was uh, we had to write about an... Un uh, escuela or in a school. So what we did, we decided to um, write about school, but we kind of did like a mock of our own school. Like we use, you know, we basically uh, ripped on every single teacher and faculty in this school, and it was just absolutely glorious. But better yet, in Spanish. So we were making like all these weird Spanish jokes and Spanish humor, all this clean stuff. We didn't do any Spanish swear words. Because, I mean, our teacher would hate us for that. But it was, it was basically mocking all of our teachers. It was just absolutely amazing. Uh, our classmates thought it was absolutely hilarious and stuff. You know, lots of good jokes. And I'm like, yes, I feel happy. But here's the thing, though. Because it was all done the night before, it was probably sloppy. The grammar probably sucked. You know, I probably didn't use as much vocab or words that I wanted to or whatever. You know, it probably ended up just sucking. But my classmates thought it was good. And my teacher also laughed at these jokes, too. So I feel slightly accomplished. And, um, you know, so I, 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 that's generally a good sign if, you know, your teacher thinks it's funny. But, I mean, I guess I can only hope. So, yeah, it's the weekend. Then after that, I can relax, not think about that abomination of a day. But, oh, my gosh, was it stressful. Absolutely stressful. So, um, come uh, today, Monday. Here's the thing. On Friday, it was supposed to be our group and another group that was supposed to be doing the Spanish presentation skit or whatever but here's the thing one of the guys in the other room just bailed school he didn't even go probably because his group wasn't ready or something he just didn't want to do it he did not show up to school at all so he's just like okay tyler your group can go first I'm like crap no i'm not ready but you know we managed i guess so today they went or you know monday it's probably tuesday at the time i'm uploading this either that or wednesday i can't tell the two apart they all look the same to me all days of the week look the same to me so anyways, we, uh, yeah, where was, I, I have no idea where I'm going with this. So the other group finally, you know, went, so we're like, you know, we'll see if we did better than that group or anything like that. So their group goes, you know, uh, I believe they only had a one page script. Our script was four pages. Theirs was one. However, I kind of double spaced and did all, or no, I didn't even double space. No. I just had, like, cool formatting and stuff. It looked official, like an actual movie script or whatever. I thought I thought it was cool, okay? Don't judge me. And uh, so they went up. They had, like, a one-page script. So, I mean, they... And it's supposed to be a ten-minute thing. So they go for, like, two minutes, two and a half minutes. Then all of a sudden, they just stop. Like, no, not, not like their skits over stop. Like, crap. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Stopped. They <laughs> literally just stopped in the middle, like, uh... I don't know what I'm supposed to say. And they just looked at each other like, um, uh, uh. And not only that, not only did they not know to improvise, but they literally stood there for two minutes straight looking at each other until the teacher's like, improvise. And it was the funniest thing. It's like, it was the longest pause ever. Then they kind of continued on their script, I suppose. I'm not exactly sure how that went down, but... Yeah, they finally continued that, and they're like, oh, 
Well, um, that was short. It only lasted five minutes, and half of it was them staring at each other like, oh, uh, what, what, what do we do? What do we do? Uh, help, please. <laughs> so, like, yeah, okay, glad, you know, that wasn't us doing Glad we didn't look like the fools. So, actually, our teacher was nice enough to, you know, grade ours really quickly. So, I'm looking it over. She hands back the rating sheet, and I somehow got an A. I, I don't know how, but all this night before work, and I got an A. It, it was marvelous. Hold on, let me actually grab the sheets. Also, somebody made a dumb mistake. Why would you get a tornado wizard when I'm sending repros? Noob. One second. <laughs> Alright, okay. I got it. I actually had this handy. Uh, and is this a tornado wizard actually going to work? I really hope not. Because that would just be terrible. That would not be good. He's leaking. Okay, yeah, there's no way he's going to hold that off. They uh, GG! <laughs> GG, I, I hope, wait for it, and... GG, okay. So, <laughs> that abomination's over with. That was just so slow. I'm gonna wait a bit more. Now I'll get back into this. I don't know how long if I can go on, by the way. It's probably way too long, but whatever. So, <laughs> I got an A in, like, high marks and everything. She, she's like... Great inclusion of, of the Padre, uh, the Padre Nuestro in Spanish, or the Our Father in Spanish, because that was something we knew. I'm like, okay, if I want to waste one minute, I'll have uh, my partner and I say the Our Father in Spanish, because like we have morning announcements and stuff, and we would, like say a prayer. It's like, yeah, it's like she's like great imagination, excellent interpretation, um, good use of the uh, imperfect tense and the vocabulary. I'm like, yes. Excellent! Achievements get! A impressed Spanish teacher with, like, minimal work. Like, I felt so happy! Somehow, I managed to pull it off with, like, absolutely no work at all. Ultimate procrastination somehow led to victory. <laughs> all you guys there are probably giggling at some random things I'm saying. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, someone's saying OMG. What's he talking about? What? Was <laughs> something special? Ayo. So anyways, Blue and Tony Mines, I don't know when we go tax your here. So this is actually kind of normal here. So. Sweet. Glad we got a subscriber. Oh, <laughs> shoot. Don't want that one. Glad we got a subscriber plan. This is actually our first one, and it's a nice, quick uh, game, too. It, it just feels like such a big difference compared to the last guy. It's so strange. But so uh, relieving, I suppose. Just the not lag. So, yeah, I somehow got through in Spanish. And I somehow got through that day. Just unbelievable. I would not want to have to go through that again. But I'm glad it is over with. So, um, there's that. Also, uh, today, I, uh, I wore bron- or not Broncos, uh, Frick, what's the other? Seahawks. I wore Seahawks colors. Uh, that wasn't intentional. Just all my friends pointed out, like, oh, you're wearing Seahawks colors. <laughs> that strategy, though, for the Zen Guard. And there goes a life. You know what? So much for Noah's loss. You know, I had you on first. You could, you could at least aim where I want you to, but no. And also, crap. <laughs> I wanted to be able to afford this. This might hurt. Oh, boy, this is going to hurt. I'm going to have to aim you like, on first for a short time or something. Just so you can kind of clean up. Yeah, and that should be good. So let's see. Let's do this for a bit. And, uh, yeah. So I guess I wore Seahawks colors today. <laughs> hey, I mean, he has more lives than me. He ain't no noob. He'd be, he'd be good. Oh, whoa. I lost two lives out of that ordeal? Damn, damn. That's, that ain't good. That ain't good at all. Uh, where was I going with this? Okay, yeah, so I, I didn't even watch the Super Bowl myself, because, you know, the best team in the league, the Packers, didn't make it. Oh, so, I mean, I didn't even bother to watch it, but from what I heard, this one actually kind of sucked. It was pretty much the one of the first blowouts in, like, a while. <laughs> glad you're happy, glad you're happy, Joan Reyes, number one. Did not know you could do periods in your name. That is something I'm going to want to keep in mind. Yep, 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 yep. So I, I I just heard the Super Bowl was bad and was like a super blowout or something like that. I don't even care for uh, you know either one of the teams or whatever. I mean maybe you know it would have been cool to see Peyton Manning get another win or, or Super Bowl or something like that. 
or a Super Bowl? I don't even know. I hardly even follow football anymore. Ever since video games, I hardly pay attention to, like, anything. Uh, and, oh, crap. I kind of forgot about how boomerangers kind of suck against the uh, black balloons here. Whatever I should manage. But, uh, yeah, I didn't even watch the Super Bowl. I think the uh, Puppy Bowl is far superior to the Super Bowl in any way, shape, or form. And for those who don't know what the Puppy Bowl is... It's like the Super Bowl, but with puppies playing football instead of uh, people, which is obviously the greatest thing you will ever see on television. Uh, that is some real football right there. That was an exciting game. Got real close between one puppy team and another. I don't even know the names of puppy teams, but it, it was just absolutely amazing. Probably one of the greatest games of football I have ever watched, and uh, you know I'll never even come close to watching something that amazing ever again. So also, hold on, I want to try uh, some regrow whites, because I have a feeling his uh, tax year spot should be kind of weak to these, right? I would think. We'll see how this goes. But uh, yes, watch the Puppy Bowl instead of the Super Bowl. It's far superior. Just as the uh, the uh, Imperial system is far superior to the metric system. Holy crap, this is working a lot more efficiently than I thought. Okay, note to self, don't use Ring of Fire on this map. Well, GG, go to Joan Ray is number one. Sorry to kill you all so early. I had no idea that even work. Okay, I, I thought that was the reason why I didn't do Ring of Fire on this map. Whatever, so, uh, GG. Do I want to go for one more game? I have no idea how long this episode's been. It seems like it's kind of late, but, you know, I kind of have to catch up with you guys, so maybe it'll be a bit of a longer episode than normal. So, yeah.